and we're all about do-it-yourself here so here's what we're gonna do today we're gonna take this T12 fixture change out the ballast so we can run T8 lamps in it T12 are the fat ones T8s are the skinny ones I only had a black light of the T12 but we're gonna make it run the skinnier lamps this shop fixture I think I got it at Home Depot for like 15 bucks so it was pretty cheap lamps are a couple dollars a piece and we're gonna have to swap out the ballast and that should be easy to do first thing you're gonna want to make sure you do unplug the fucking thing so you don't electrocute yourself while you're cutting wires in here you know it's kind of painful you could probably die and it kind of sucks so we're gonna get started here's our new ballast we're gonna be putting into this fucking thing it is a GE232 Max P and Ultra. These you can also find online, a few dollars, not too expensive. Go down to your supply house and grab one. I'd say get one from Home Depot, but they'll charge you more. If you need it today, you can get it. This one's a two lamp T8 ballast. And if you look, it actually tells you right here how to wire the thing. Two blue wires, a black, white, and a red. We got black, white, and red, and two blue wires. So, we'll show you when we open up the fixture where those all go, but it's pretty self-explanatory as long as you're not colorblind. Some tools you're most likely gonna need are drill, Phillips tip maybe, flathead Phillips screwdriver, pliers, some wire strippers, and some wire nuts. A couple of these. You can use whichever ones you want. Uh, red ones for bigger wire. Yellow ones. A little bit smaller. Down the line, orange and blue. Whichever ones you have laying around, you can get these almost anywhere too. A couple bucks. So now let's open this fixture up and see how the hell we do this. Now this fixture actually has two... Phillips screws, one here, one on the other end holding the cover on. So this goes up, the cover pops right off. Now we get to see our internals of what we have here. This is the existing T12 ballast. It's upside down, but it doesn't matter because we're not going to use it anyway. Mess of wires here, a couple wires going down there. All right, now let's check it out. Now we can see here, coming off of our power cord, we got one wire going to a black, one going to a white, and our green ground. Green ground's important for safety. This lets the current go back through this green wire if there's a fault to trip your breaker in your panel and hopefully not start a fire so usually what I'll do they get these awesome little uh, crimp things on here we'll just cut our wires on this side so we know which one is still the black wire and which one is still the white wire We'll be reconnecting those to our new ballast when we put it in. Ground wire can just stay there. Now if we look at our cool tombstones, the lamp holders, they got a couple wires. They got a yellow and a red on one, a yellow and a blue on the other. The other side, they look like they're all jumped out with some wires. That's pretty cool too. We don't really care about all of this right now. What we're going to do... You guessed it, we're gonna cut the wires out. Leave yourself a little slack to make a connection. Also wanna leave a little slack on the ballast, just in case we wanna reuse this ballast for something in the future. I don't know if we ever will, seeing it's good working and we're cutting it out of this fixture anyway, but we'll do it. So we're gonna cut these off, cut those off, then we're gonna pull this old ballast right out of here. Now we get all our wires cut, 
Here's what we end up with on these. A couple of these. Those ones are still sitting down in there with the wires. And let's see, how do we get this thing out of here? It's held in with one bolt right here. Phillips screw on the other side. So we take that out. It may have to hold the nut on the other side. But this one looks like gravity might be helping us. So you pull that out. Take this thing out. And there you have it. There's the ballast. Actually, not going to use anymore. So, pretty much get rid of it. Now here's our new T8 ballast that we're going to put in here. Slides into a little groove and I think we might luck out. And that hole lines up for us so we can just reuse our nut and bolt. Stick that through and secure this ballast down. All right, we got our fancy new ballast secured in there. Now's a good time. Double check, we got it disconnected still, just so we don't kill ourselves. So, now we can, we got a black and a white wire. We have a black and a white wire. Ends of the ballast wire are already stripped off for us, thanks guys. These ones we're gonna have to strip. I keep the camera running to show you, but I can't do this with one hand. So, I'm going to strip the end of the black and the white wire. You can also cut these long ass wires coming off of our new ballast down just to make it neater when we go to tuck it all in, but using our wire strippers, we just stripped off the end of the insulation on the end exposing that little piece of copper. So what we're going to do is we're going to take our black wire coming from the new ballast, line that guy up right next to the black wire coming off of our power cord, get them sitting right next to each other, and then we're going to put on one of our cool wire nuts, and that'll make these wires connect giving us some power. And we also did the same thing with our white wire. And then I'm just gonna wrap all this crap up, tuck it in this little spot right here, nice and neat, so we don't get this mess in our way. Uh, now we have our lamp holders. We're gonna, don't, don't pay any attention to these colors. We're gonna make them what we want. So we're gonna strip the ends of these both both wires on on each now we have our wires all stripped off if we remember those nice people at General Electric gave us a diagram on how to wire this right so we can either connect all four of these wires to the red wire coming off of our ultra ballast here or we can do one blue to these two, and one blue to these two, each socket. I'm going to use the blues just because I feel like it, so this yellow and red are going to get one blue wire connected to it underneath our wire nut, and this blue and yellow are going to get one blue connected to it underneath our wire nut. And there you have it. So. One thing I do like to do is I like to give these wires a little pull <laughs> with both hands, preferably. Sometimes it looks like it's in there, the wire nut doesn't grab, and it sucks to get your fixture all put back together, only to realize you got a loose connection and your lights don't light up. So this is going to be one side of our fixture. These two sockets are going to go here. It actually doesn't matter which blue is on which side or anything. So, on the other side of our fixture, they got some weirdness going on here. Because it was a T12. 
they had the neutral wire running right to the tombstones. So what we're going to do is we're going to pull out this white wire and this blue wire because we don't need them. Actually, we might need the blue. I don't know if these are shunted or not. So we'll actually leave the blue. Whatever. It almost doesn't matter. We're just going to pull out this long white wire because we don't need it anymore. So we pulled that white wire out. We have one lead coming off of one tombstone, one lead coming off of the other, and they're also jumped together. Now, if we can remember, thanks again, GE, for giving us this diagram, we see that the red connects to both lamps on one side. So we're going to take our red wire. We already stripped the ends of these two. This one comes stripped from the factory. Put all three of those together under our wire nut. All right, we get our stuff connected up. These tombstones on this fixture, they actually they just slide into a little groove on the side. All right, put this all back together. We'll tuck all of our wires in nice and neat. And then we'll put that cover back on and we should be good to go. And we got everything tucked back in. I would say nice and neat, but it's not that neat. So whatever. Now we're just going to slam our cover back on, put our two screws back in. Now with our cover back on, we're just going to pop in two T8s. I think these ones are 3500s. So they may look like more of a reddish color. Now with your lamps back in, you can finally see if we can do this. Ah, oh, plug it in, and there's your light. Now, you have a working two-lamp T8 fixture. Which is a little bit more energy efficient than the T12s. It's a newer technology, easier to find. You can find these lamps and ballast everywhere. And... Hopefully, I'll plug this so it's not super crazy. Hopefully that helped you out some.